Every major national, international, and local news operation that's looked into it has said it's a lie. This is the president's flat line. So there's not been a scintilla of evidence pointed out that anything is wrong. There's not a single solitary scintilla of evidence anywhere. There's not been one scintilla of evidence that my son ever interfered, that I ever asked me anything, that I ever got involved in anything. I mean, come on. This is... So <laughs> These so, guys are amazing. So you think that everything that happened was kosher? You know there's not one single bit of evidence not one little tiny bit. Not even a tiny bit. Come on, man. Joining us now to talk about that and other things is a resident polling expert at redstate.com, our friend Scott Hounsel. So Scott, come on, man. <laughs> right. Right. Again, this is what's so frustrating about this is that they ran on every single single sourced, anonymous sourced article about Trump for four or five years. Anything, anytime a whisper came and there was a national story about it, yet we have travel records and financial records on Hunter Biden and we are not allowed to question it. Yeah, that's, that's, honestly, I think the media cover up part of it is as damaging as the actual current national security concerns. Because if we right. can't rely on the media to ever dig into a Democrat, where does that leave us, Scott? See, that's the whole point behind this. I mean, Jennifer Van Lahr, our managing editor, and I were writing on this in October of last year. We received a uh, a dosset of like a, just a ton of information on Hunter. And so instead of just going on, oh, we've got this, this document that says it, we went and independently sourced it through uh, Secret Service records, uh, travel records, financial records, all these things we put together. And then even then, the M NBC and the mainstream media called us conspiracy theorists and, and, and just were talking about how biased we were, but never once looked into the sourcing we used or, or the data we used to back it up. It's extraordinarily frustrating as a journalist who's trying to really get the story out. Wow, you actually looked into real documents and stuff? That sounds like journalism. I don't think I've ever heard of that before happening in the country. Tell me, unpack this for us. Take as much time as you want. What did you guys find? What did you see? Well, I, I think the, the better question is, is to start with a logical question. Obviously, there's the data and the science and the, and the information behind it to show. But without Hunter's tie to his father, what justification, what rationalization, what qualification does he have to do business in the Ukraine and China. He's not an oil and gas expert, yet he sat on the board of an oil gas company. He's been dealing with, uh, again, the national security issues of like Hennages. We wrote about this last year. Hennages is a company, uh, auto manufacturer that made anti-vibration technology for the Joint Strike Fighter program. We reported on this October of last year and the mainstream media had said, no, you're crazy and you're nuts. And now all of a sudden it's kind of like allowed. It's this mea culpa. This happens to do uh, with the story that I'm writing that's going to be going to be out today. Are we allowed to talk about it now? Are we allowed? Is the mainstream media and our big tech overlords allowing us to cover the news now? Is that what's happening? Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.